Edges represent the biggest advance in online piping training this year. It is a compact digital credential that can give employers extraordinary detail in what a piper's knowledge and skills are. And it's so easy to use. Let me show you how to get to your first band. Go to Piping Design U. This is the home website of the Piping Design U training site and click on this free badges offer and you'll find yourself going over to the Piping Design U Moodle website. This is our LMS in which we have all our courses. Okay, now you log in. And this will take you to the Badges 101 introductory course enrollment page. We are at the enrollment page. If you'd like to enroll, go ahead and click here to learn about badges. Now I'm here. I'm here to uh, take the quiz. Now the way this works is that you are actually taking the quiz, but the quiz is an explanation. So all you have to do is take the quiz. This is a typical quiz. When I get done, it asks me to submit all and finish the question. It's giving me a grade. Okay, and now I have another grade. Once I get a grade in this class, in Badges 101, I'm going to go back here to the general course. Now, uh, I've taken the quiz. Now, over here, I look at my profile and go down to my badges, and I can see that now I have a new badge here. I have the Badges 101 badge. Now, I can download this badge to my website, uh, or I can add it to my backpack. Okay, it's going to log into my backpack. Let me sign in. I'm going to give my email address. Okay, then I'm going to, next it's going to ask me for my password, get my password, hold on, get my password, sign in, and I've uploaded my badge. Now it's going to ask me if I want to accept the badge, yes, I accept the badge into my backpack, and I've, I've, uh, can visit my backpack to see uh, what's going on. So let's go to my backpack. Now I have three badges here already. I have this new badge I've got, this uh, Piper Padawan badge. Uh, I've got uh, other badges for other courses. And of course I can look at the detail uh, for the badge at any time I want and see what the badge is about. Now, it's useful to put these badges in a collection, so I'm going to go ahead and create a collection real quickly. Put my badges in here with a quick drag and drop. Okay, if I'd like this collection to be viewable by other people, I can go ahead and make it public, and I can give it a, I'm sorry, let me, before I make it public, let me give a name to the, ba to the collection, WGB ba uh, Piping Badges. Make it public, and now I have a public collection. If I'd like to sh give this badge to other people, I can hit a click on the share button, and now I can see what the badge looks like. And there's a link up top, or I, I can click on this share thing, it'll give me all these share options. But in this case, and this link up top, this is the link I use to give other people. So, in my case, I want to send it to, do to Dr. Beasley, which is myself. So, I call up my email client. Hey, here's a new email. W. Beasley. Yeah, send my new link. This is my... This is Bill Beasley's uh, badge. Just send it to myself. That's it.
Now, the nice thing about these public collections, when people look at it, is it gives all this great detail as to what's going on in the badge. In the case of these uh, PDU badges that I'm issuing now, uh, it has all this continuing education data in here that most uh, professional societies or uh, licensing bodies uh, require. So there's lots of nice detail now in the badges that you can uh, show the society. If they uh, want to see the criterion evidence, they go to the uh, they go back to Piping Design U, the LMS, and it shows the criteria under which the badge was issued, and it also shows the evidence. Okay. So it's a very nice system. It's going to be great for pipers. Everybody's going to like it, particularly employers, because they can always check out what people's detail is. So thank you for taking time to listen to this little tutorial.